I'm Nicola. I'm here. And we're from the My Korean Husband blog. And you're watching the AU Review. Because many people are interested in K-pop and Korean yeah. dramas and everything. Yeah. And also we are an international couple, but we are not the negative one. We, we have mm. quite good, you know, successful Yeah, and trying to be know, positive about relationship things. Relationship like be, that. Yeah, so yeah, a lot of funny. people want to be like us. Like, you know. Yeah, well, there's actually, we've noticed in Sydney, there's more and more couples like us. Like about five years ago, it was rare to see a couple like us. Um, and I always stress that he's Korean Korean because I think it's quite different. Somebody might uh, marry somebody who's Australian but has Korean background. Yeah. And they've grown up in a very similar way, but we've grown up in a very different way. And that's why you get the cultural differences and that type of thing. And that's why there was not as many couples like us. But mm. now we know a bunch of other couples like us mm. in Sydney and it, the Korean guys that have grown up in Korea. Mm. So a lot of those people actually found us through the blog. So we get readers that found us because they're in a similar situation for us. And then we have other readers who are really into K-pop or what they watch the dramas and we do, I know we do get some people that they watch the dramas and they're like, I want a Korean boyfriend, I want a Korean husband. And so that's what, that's what they're Googling, like that. And I can sometimes see my search results and I do get some people that are Googling naked Korean boys ah, <laughs> that get directed to my site. So shout out to all those people that do that. I hope you stick around and enjoy the comics. Probably not what you were looking for. Okay. It is a running gag, isn't it? The, the no pants. Yeah. Thing. It is a running gag. And everybody us. else that has Korean boyfriend or Korean husband will be like, oh my gosh, this is the same thing same. Yeah. for me. And actually somebody else that we know in Korea, um, Cassie, who does some yeah. comics, and she always draws her husband in his underwear. Because <laughs> a lot of the times he's wearing clothes in the comic, but in real life he was in his underwear. But I just feel like I don't want to subject my readers to that much cartoon nudity, <laughs> so. so... So why is that here? Yeah, why? Why is that? I don't know. It's, I think it's not only Korean guys, it's a lot of guys, guys like they that. don't like yeah. wearing clothes. Much. I do notice... Um, I'm sort wearing of, clothes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but at home, I, I do, but... Yeah, just... <laughs> I do notice me and a sort wife. of a different way that houses are set up in Korea, and especially um, his house is quite traditional with his parents is there's no sofa or anything you sit on the like the heat the ondul yeah. um and it's that much more sort of relaxed feeling like that and you know laying down in front of the tv and i think that type of home environment sort of is one of the reasons why the clothes all come off as well um, when we first when we first met his parents and we came to their little tiny hometown like this really really small and it's just like old people and I met his parents and the first thing they said like we came into the living room and we sat down on the floor and they basically said what's the deal and we said we want to get married and they said congratulations welcome to the family but that was the first the first um, thing they say which is quite different to Australian culture where you know you can invite your boyfriend and girlfriend home and not get those questions but luckily for us we already knew what we wanted um, so that was that was fine and I was really welcomed into the family mm. um, it was difficult in that area because everybody stares at me because there's not any white people um, um, I talk to my mom and my dad on the phone lots of times and I, I told them about my I mean Nicola and they they say if I like they they they're happy as well so yeah they said if you love me, then they'll love me. Yes, so. that's why. He's got really good parents. That's very good parents. <laughs> yeah. Because you hear a lot of people sort of ask that question because they see it in the drama. There's the mother-in-law yeah. that is absolutely terrible and is not accepting. It's just and drama. Yeah, it's just drama. It doesn't happen as much yeah. in real life. And they were prepared for it. It wasn't like he brought me home and it was like, ta-da, he's my foreigner girlfriend who I'm going to marry and I didn't consult you at all. So we made sure that every step was respecting them.